evening traders and welcome to this week's Forex Focus. I'd like to first start off by apologizing for this coming out to you a little bit later than usual and that's because I'm obviously not um, at home in my office. I'm away at the moment where we're on holiday in Florida so for the next three or four weeks this, um, this show is going to be coming out to you from sunny Florida. Um, and that obviously will mean that sometimes it's going to come out a little bit later because we are five hours behind you here. But anyway, enough of that. Um, in this week's show, we've got a couple of opportunities to look at. Um, there's actually a number of opportunities setting up in the FX markets, but we won't go through all of them um, because a lot of them are sort of carbon copies of one another. So for example, um, there are a few pound trades are setting up, but it's pretty much the same pattern on all of them. And once you see one, you kind of see what the rest of them look like. So we're going to go through a few opportunities here um, just to show you what we're looking to do with our own accounts. And as, as always, please remember that none of this is investment advice. We're not telling you to go away and take any of these trades. We're just simply showing you what we're doing with our own accounts. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and take a look at what's setting up for this week. Now the first one that I want to show you is one that's actually already gone but it's a trade that we took and I want to show you um, this trade because it's sort of like a prime example of how key levels work and that's one of the, I mentioned it a little bit last week and we had a lot of emails coming in about it asking about you know what are key levels, how do you trade them etc 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 so as you can see on all of my charts um, what I'm doing now is I'm going to include the key levels that we're looking at just so you all get an idea as to you know what um, where we're going to be trading from and ultimately trading from key levels provides some of the most effective trade setups in the world because what you will see is that you know the price typically tends to sort of like go from one particular key level to another key level now sometimes it's not always pretty it's not all, not always harmonic but if you can sort of build a trading system around trading at key levels so waiting for reactions to key levels and then taking the trades from them um, then that's obviously that will give you very high probability trading setups and this is just one that we took um, last week on the Australian CAD which again was a reaction to a key level and basically what you're looking for and the key to all of this is you're looking for price to make a momentum move to a particular level you don't want it to sort of just neander up to it because then you don't know that you know there's a definitely a reaction there for sure so you want to see price sort of move up towards a key level show that it respects it in some way which is what the market does here so it breaks out above this key level it doesn't spend very much time above there at all um, and what you would expect if this key level was to sort of provide a momentum move and provi provide a catalyst for you know the, the balls to get involved and really push this higher, you would expect that to occur somewhere around here. But the fact that the market then closes back below the level, okay, then kind of gives it another attempt here, fails at that other attempt. That's a very, very big indication that actually the markets don't want to go any higher. And if they don't want to go any higher, then obviously you'd be looking for a breakdown of the trend. And that's exactly what we get here. Now, this trade obviously hasn't got to its profit target yet. We're looking for the market to get down to the 97.47 level. But what we did was we traded a rejection of this level. And for some of you who have um, looked at our liquidity fader strategy, this is exactly that type of a trade. So the market gets out above it. It doesn't hold above that level. It then closes back down below. We then got in on a break of this low here stop above the highs and ultimately we're waiting for the market to come down towards these lows over here um, for about a two and a half to one risk reward. So quite a nice trade um, that we've taken there. Hopefully it will go and fulfill its, um, fulfill its destiny, let's say, get down to this level around here and pay us. But, um, you know, whether it does or doesn't, it was a good trade all the same. The pound dollar is another trade that we are very much looking at. We've got a key level up here at the 135 um, 27 area. Um, truth be told, we actually already sold a little bit last week when the market rejected this previous high here um, and started to break lower. We do expect the pound dollar to go a little bit lower, um, which isn't good for me, obviously, being in the US <laughs> um, for the next few weeks. So that's um, this holiday's got considerably more expensive. But anyway, um, as I said, we've sold sold some up here. Um, if the market gets up to here, then we'll sell some more, completely expecting the market to go lower. And that's a trade we're already in and we'll be looking to build into in the coming days and weeks. We've then got the Euro Aussie. Now, the Euro Aussie, if I come out of this here for a moment, you can see that it's at a very big key level 
on the daily chart. So it's come down to this level a number of times. And what we have here is we've got an opportunity to trade two ways. Now, ideally, I'd like to see the market break below this level because I am bearish on the euro, as you know. Anyway, so I'd like to, to break below this level and give us some price action to allow us to get short at this area here. But if the market rejects this level, then we do have an opportunity to buy the market here and expectation of the market going up towards sort of around the 153 type area. Um, if not, obviously, you'd need to check the trade when it gets to this level here at the one spot 4862 because that's a previous level of support, which could act as resistance. But it's a very interesting trade because we could play it to both the, the long side and the short side. You probably want to have in here your brackets in there a resistance area. So ultimately, you'd be looking for some sort of a, a move above this or a move below that and then obviously looking to trade it to the next key level. Um, and that's ultimately what we have, what we're looking at next week for the Euro Aussie. Obviously, as I said, we are sort of bearish long, longer term on the Euro. So a break below would be the preferred move because that would be in line with our fundamental bias. And then finally, we've got the Pound New Zealand. Now, the Pound New Zealand is doing exactly what the Aussie CAD was doing last week. We'll go and take a look at this on the 60 minute charts. So the market's been pulling back, obviously, you know what happened after Brexit, pound fell off a cliff. This is just a pullback after that big, big, big down move, as you can see there. Um, and you don't expect a move like that to be completely reversed without at least attempting to break down towards the lows again. So that's the reason um, that we're looking for the market to come lower. So I'd be looking for the market to break beneath this level here around the one spot 8387. Stops above the highs, looking initially for this low here. And to be completely honest, if it does get down towards that low, they'll be looking for it to break here and move significantly lower over the next week or two. OK, so that wraps it up for this week's Forex Focus. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, there's a number of other opportunities out there um, in the markets right now. If you just go take a look at any of the pound charts, you'll see that they're pretty much a carbon copy of the pound New Zealand that we just looked at there. Um, again, apologies that this is coming out to you later than usual. Um, I hope you find value in it all, all the same. Thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, please give it a thumbs up, obviously, on YouTube. Um, please feel free to post a comment, ask a question, anything like that. I know that we got a considerable number of emails over the past couple of weeks, which is great. Um, but if you can, maybe post, the, post your questions and stuff in the videos, and then we can obviously try and answer them in the in the videos as we progress through the weeks and months and all of that kind of good stuff. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this week's Forex Focus and I'll catch you in next week's. Take care now and happy trading.